after scanning some nearby stars. The probe finds one suitable with a very high metal content, almost certain to have planets. It's a large Selenic planet with four other rocky moons. But this isn't the planet we're going to. The probe has found another more suitable planet to land on, past this one. As we fly past, you can see this moon has been bombarded by millions of meteorites over its entire lifespan. At a couple million miles away, the target planet comes into view. A desert type planet. Even at this distance, you can see the visible ice cap on its North Pole. The probe begins slowing down as it descends onto the planet. Although the planet looks warm and welcoming, its surface temperatures hover around negative 100 Fahrenheit. The surface scan is already complete. The advanced onboard computer has already selected a landing site. At only 200 feet above the surface, thrusters are activated and the flight stabilizes as the computer reaches its final landing point. The probe has detected some interference The probe reboots all its systems. It survived the crash with no damage. Although dramatic, the first test landing was a success. Once the probe takes off, it will attempt to get a signal reading from one of the gas giants in this very system.